Good morning. I'm going to do another video for you. And it's an 8 by 10 Arches, 140 pound cold press. And uh, I'm doing these small ones for a while. It's uh, nice to have some small paints. I'm going to use it first. I'm going to use my big brush. And I'm going to put some blue on just like that. Come way down here. Like that. And uh, I have to there. Then I'm going to use a uh, purple. A pen in the sky. A bit. Just to bring my colors around. Now, I'm, you can see, I'm finding a, um, maybe a lighthouse. And uh, I'm, I think maybe I'm going to make it a little, a little stormy, maybe. And, uh, a little bit like a storm coming, a lighthouse. This is um, my purple and burnt sienna together. It's more burnt sienna. Clouds coming over here like this. Kind of like that. I'm going to take a, um, a blue, a darker blue, right down in here, and put some up in here. You want to carry your colors all through. That blue didn't come out too good. It's all running down. I'll fix that. Okay, I think I'm going to turn it like this for a minute. I hope you can see it. Hit it with water. Like this. Just clear water. Maybe I'll even add some blue right in here so it'll run down my, like that. I turned this away because otherwise, you know, it goes that way. And so I want to do that. And then also, after I've done that, I'm going to hit it again with water. Because I want to get some kind of shapes in there. These colors are not doing what I want them to do. Sometimes that happens, you know? Um, I'll just bring in my some greens. Oh, that's a really green. Maybe I'll put burnt sienna with it. Oh, that don't bother me. I don't care. I'm going to use my weight today, anyway. I know not like that. Uh, Green. I'll make it a little darker. There it is. And you know, if you need a lighthouse, if it's dark and stormy, you might not be able to find your way. I'm going to keep, I kind of drop through in that lighthouse a little bit, give me an idea where it's going to be. Take my brush and 
Try it. Try it. Come in. Twist a little bit. Kind of take some of that color off. Okay. I'm gonna bring a little gold in here just to change the color. Now, I'm gonna let that rest for a minute and uh, I'm gonna keep taking a deep, uh, a deep blue. I gotta know where the water line is. It's kinda like a purple. Right there. Bring it down like this. And of course that's too dark. Let's take my brush. Dry it off. Come back in. I don't have any purple up in here. Now purple and yellow will make green, right? Or blue will make it green. I can't seem to get the sky the way I want it. But you know, we don't always have the colors we want. We don't always use the colors. Let's put it that way. You know, I'm not used to painting this small. I'm used to painting like this. And I just have to get used to it, painting this small. And this is a blue, a dark blue. I'm put a little bit of that dark blue in the sky. So like that. The lighthouse right there. Hit it with water again. Where the lighthouse is, there's a little house right there. You know, some things <coughs> you get up in the morning, you, you look forward to painting, and uh, when you start our painting thing, what in the world is that? You know. And then you wonder why. How can I paint today? I just keep at it. Maybe it's not what I want. And surely it's not exactly the way I want it either. But I'm going to use some of my weight. I want to use dark blue in here, like this. Now I'm taking my big 24 inch brush, coming in here like this. It's kind of, it's a dry, fairly dry brush. You see, it kind of Brings in. Kind of helps shape. In case you don't know about this white, it's called Dr. Phil Markin Bleed Proof White. And it's watercolor, but it's um cover up. It covers up the things. And I'm going to come right down here with this white to my.
Okay, then I'm going to bring in some this white back in here. I got on my brush. And back in here, um, I'm going to have some trees. This is a green, green trees. I don't know what kind of trees they are. They're just trees. Okay. And then maybe some of that color right there. That's up in here. You see what I mean about white? I'm going to bring in my little house right in here. You always have a little house. Easy. Behind that. And uh, maybe I'll have a little red roof on top. Like that. And then I just go like this. up here in the sky it makes this cloud lighter right in here. It's pretty wet so it doesn't work as good. See, you need to bring your colors all around so that people can say, well, there's that color, and then you can say this color, and I'm not doing so good, say that color, this color, that color, and your eyes just kind of go around with the colors. I don't put no more of that down in here. Over here, let's see if this works. It's almost aqua, but it's shadows. I rocks right there. And maybe there's some rocks over here. Some of that color here. Just have it up there. Light down in here. I'm going to put some right there and some of that blue, some of that blue right there, and that blue, pick it up, put it over here under this lighthouse. One more time with this white. You know, you always see these around a lighthouse. My Bible verse today is Matthew 6, chapter 25, 25th verse. Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, 
what you should put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Let your heavenly Father feed us them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking a thought, can add one cubic unto his statue? And why do you take thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Isn't that beautiful? If God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast in the oven, shall he not much more clothe ye, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, what we eat, drink, or be clothed. For our Heavenly Father will take oh, so that we need all these things. Isn't that a beautiful verse? Take no thought. You know, every day we get up in the morning, we think, oh, what should I eat? Oh, what should I dress? And yet, when we stop and think of it, um, our life and the way we live it that day is more important than what we eat and drink and so forth. And I hope today that you know Jesus as your Savior because that's the only way you're going to get to heaven. He said he's the only way. He's a life, truth, and he's a way. So you only get to him, to heaven, through Jesus and what he did for you. He died on that cross for you. He gave his life for you. Just think about that. that if someone would love you enough to die for you. And he took our sins and he laid them on himself and now we are sinless if we believe all of this that Jesus did. I thank you today. Now I'm going to finish up my lighthouse and um, let you go do your thing. I'm taking my uh, sharpie and I've been doing doing some work there. And I'm going to do something to this little house right here. Let's see, that's not dry, so it, it won't take effect. But I'm going to put a frame on it, see what you think. I have a frame for it. And, uh, There you go. How do you like it? I don't know if there's enough light on there. I put it in a frame and it's come out okay for a little painting. But uh, I hope you like it. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and uh, I'm going to uh, ask you if if you'd like to purchase one of my little videos, pictures, uh, there's a for sale and they're reasonable. And I have a 500 of them, uh, not the same size, but all different sizes. And if you'd like to look it up, just Millie Gift Smith under, under YouTube. I have my own YouTube now. So, I love you all. Thanks again. I'm going to try to, again to get a close-up. You know, you see, I always have trouble. I need help on this, you know. It, it takes help to do it. I have to do it all by myself. I'll be 98 to 25th next week. I'll be 98. Can you imagine? I can't believe it. And God has given me the strength to do these videos. I have to film them, edit them, 
everything, put them on YouTube, all by myself. So, I hope you appreciate I'm doing this for you and for Jesus. And I thank you again for all that you, when you watch it. And subscribe to me. You'll get a video every day. Every day I do one. Thank you again. And goodbye.